let's take a look at similar figures and indirect measurement. They asked us what is the missing length. Okay, well first of all, I want to take a look at these two triangles and I can see that my little triangle, let's call this N-O-R, is similar to the bigger triangle, which we can call N-P-Q. All right, well, how do I know that? There's three different ways that you can determine that triangles are similar. You can use angle, 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 which means that all three of their angles are congruent. You can use side, 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 if you know that all three side lengths are in proportion. Or you can use side, angle, side, if you know that two sides and the included angle, right? Two sides are in proportion and the included angle are congruent. Now in this case, I know that they're congruent by angle, angle, angle. And here's how I can say that. This bottom angle, angle N, is in both triangles, right? So whatever angle N measures, it's the same for both triangles. I also know that angle NOR is congruent to angle OPQ because they're both right angles, right? That symbol means that they're right angles or 90 degrees. And if I know that two of the angles are congruent, well then this one has to be as well. Um, angle, angle Q would have to be congruent to angle R. I'll, I'll draw it this way, I kind of mess that. I'll draw it that way because Remember that all three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if these two are the same, then what's left for the third one would also be the same. So these two triangles are similar by angle, angle, angle. Okay, now that I know my, my triangles are similar, I know that their side lengths have to be in proportion because if two shapes are similar, the corresponding sides are in proportion. Okay, so I can set up a ratio, right? The corresponding side, for example, for NR, would be the whole thing, NQ, in the larger triangle, right? Because for both of those, they are the hypotenuse. Segment NR is the hypotenuse of the little triangle and segment NQ is the hypotenuse of the big triangle. So if they're in proportion, then let's see, our corresponding sides here, we would say that the side opposite angle N, right, segment OR, would correspond to or be proportional to the side opposite that same angle in the big triangle, which is PQ. Okay, so if I set up the numbers for those sides, well, NR I know is 57 miles long. So I'm gonna put 57 in place of segment NR. Okay, and I know NQ, right, each of these said 57. So if I add them together, right, 57 from N to R, and then another 57 miles from R to Q, well, if I add 57 plus 57, that should tell me the length of the whole thing. And 57 plus 57 is going to give me 114. Okay, so the ratio of the hypotenuse of the little triangle, right, segment NR, to the hypotenuse of the big triangle, NQ, should be equal to or in proportion to the ratio of the other two corresponding sides. Okay, well we know the side opposite angle N in the little triangle, right, segment OR, is 29 miles because that's marked on our diagram. And it would correspond to the side length with the question mark, the one we don't know, so we can call that X. All right, now that I have a proportion, I can cross multiply and solve for X. Okay, so I'm going to start by saying x times 57 gives me 57x. And since they're in proportion, that has to be equal to what I get when I cross multiply on the other side. 
On the other side, it's 114 times 29, and that's 3,306. Okay, so to get x by itself, I'm going to have to divide by 57 on both sides. And 3,306 divided by 57 is 58. So that means that my missing side length for segment PQ must be 58 miles. Okay, so we have a very similar setup here. These triangles, the little one here, EFL, must be congruent to my big triangle, EGH, for the same reason, right? Angle, 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 because they share angle E, so angle E has to be congruent to angle E. They each have a 90 degree or right angle, which means that this angle and this angle would also be congruent. So again, I have two congruent triangles by angle, angle, angle. Okay, so let's take a look at what I have. Now I know EF is 40 kilometers, and I know EG from, or I'm sorry, FG is another 40 kilometers. So that means the whole thing, the measurement for side EG, has to be 40 plus 40 or 80 kilometers. Okay, so I wanna set up a proportion much like I did in the last problem. And this time, my missing side length is the side opposite E in the little triangle. Okay, so let's say, let's set this up and say, okay, segment EF is 40, and that would correspond to segment EG, which we know is 80 kilometers. Okay, so that should be equal to or in equal proportion to, okay, well, notice we put the smaller one on top, so I'm going to be consistent. Since I use my smaller triangle side length here, I'm going to say the smaller segment, right, F, FL, which I don't know, I'm going to call that X, would correspond to this side up here, GH, which I know is 56. And now I can cross multiply and solve for x. 80 times x is 80x. And that's going to be equal to 40 times 56. Okay, and that gives me 2,240. To solve for x, I'm going to have to divide by 80 on both sides. And that leaves me with 28. Okay, so our side length here must be 28 kilometers. All right, what is the missing side length? Now we have a very similar setup again. If you notice my little triangle in here, triangle G, H, K, it has to be similar to the bigger triangle, triangle G, I, J. And again, by angle, 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 because they both share angle G, they both have 90 degree angles, so what's left for the third angle would have to be the same amount. Okay, so I can set up my proportion. Now, I can make this a little bit easier on myself because I set up the proportion the first two times because I wanted to make sure to show you how to do it in a way that would work for any problem. But here, since it's the third time we're setting it up, we know, let's see, that segment GK, right, would correspond to segment GJ because they're both the hypotenuse. 
okay? So GK would be 52 over. Now, instead of doing this and setting up the whole thing, notice that this segment is exactly half, right? If this is 52 and this is another 52, then the big hypotenuse is exactly twice the little one. So that means that my big triangle is exactly twice as big as my little triangle. So since all of the sides would be in proportion, each of these sides has to be half of the corresponding side on the big triangle. So I could set up a proportion if I wanted to, or I could simply say, well, what's half of 58? So 58 divided by two, right? Half of 58 is 29. So I can save myself a little bit of work if I notice that. And then my missing side length has to be 29 kilometers. Okay, now I can do the same thing here. And again, I have two triangles that are similar by angle, 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 right? They share angle K, they each have a 90 degree angle. So what's left for these third angles would be the same. And again, I could set up a proportion or I could say, well, if my little side length here, KL is 45, and the side that corresponds, KM, is 45 plus 45, then my big triangle is exactly twice as big as the little one. So all of the side lengths of the big one are twice as big as the side lengths of the smaller one. Or another way to say that, the side lengths of my smaller triangle are exactly half the side lengths of the bigger one. So if this side length, NM, is 54, well, th that would correspond with OL, which I'm trying to find. So I could simply say, what's half of 54, right, 54 divided by 2, and that's going to give me 27 kilometers. Now again, is it wrong if you set up the proportion? Not at all. You could absolutely set up the proportion the way we did in the first two problems, and you would still get the same 27 kilometers. But if you notice that it's an easy ratio, like 1 to 2, it just makes it a little easier to work out your math this way. Both are correct.